Hello, this is uh, Prashant Bloshin from AISS SMS uh, College of Engineering uh, Information uh, in, uh, in Institute of Information Technology in the Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. Uh, we are discuss uh, here. The topic is constructor and destructor. The slide is constructor. What is mean by constructor? The main use of constructor is to initialize the object. Uh, the function of initialization is automatically carried out by the use of special number of function. Function called as a constructor. Constructor when an object is created. Uh, is automatically called that is called as a, another example uh, another definition of constructor constructor is a special member function that takes the same name as a class name is a general definition of a constructor uh, again again i repeat here the same name of a class name is for a uh, same name of a class name is called as a constructor the syntax is class name and argument the default constructor for the class is x is a class and x in bracket is a constructor next slide constructor is automatically called when an object is created in lastly we are discussing here uh, the constructor when a constructor is created uh, when an object is created uh, the is automatically called no need to uh, to create uh, of, uh, another uh, uh, object or another specific uh, method to uh, to call the constructor is automatically called when an object is created. There are many forms of a constructor. That is default constructor, parameterized constructor, and copy constructor. Next slide. First one is the default constructor. This constructor has no argument in it. Default constructor is also called as a no argument constructor. For example, class creature. In this class, is a private member is integer data type. Uh, year of birth is a uh, variable and publicly defined a constructor. Next slide, DHL. This is a this is a constructor. Hmm. In this constructor. We, de uh, we define uh, C out a constructor called and class is closed. Then making of a main a main uh, main function or main uh, main of uh, this class create an object class name and object. When an object is created, is automatically automatically called. No need to call uh, object dot uh, method name. It automatically called when an object is created and return zero. Next slide. Parameterized constructor. A parameter constructor is just a one that has parameter specified in it. We can pass the argument to the constructor function when an object is created. A constructor that can take the argument are called as a parameterized constructor. Let us example of parameterized constructor. The class. <coughs> Class is creature, private member is integer, uh, year of birth is a variable. In a public section, uh, creature, this is a parameterized constructor, uh, constructor and uh, parameter is integer year. We can uh, we can uh, take an argument from the object as a parameter and uh, uh, this parameter assigned to the uh, our the variables that is called parameters constructor then copy constructor copy constructor is used to declare declare and initialize an object from another object for example abc is a class and object is c1 in bracket uh, sorry uh, abc is a class c2 is an object and in this uh, assigned uh, assign uh, another object of same class is C1 uh, that is uh, that is called as a copy constructor. Uh, we uh, we define the object C1 
e2 and at the same time initialize it to the value of c1 the process of initialization through the copy constructor is known as the copy copy initialization uh, example are class abc variable are a and b publicly defined a constructor abc a uh, the parameter are x and y assigned to the a and b and uh, uh, outside the bracket uh, we can uh, call it abc uh, abc uh, is a class and uh, taking the argument as a reference as an object that is p and uh, and uh, p dot a assigned to a p dot b assigned to p p is the object of a class we can refer ampersand is mean by refer an object of the same class and then this uh, main class abc is a class name c1 is our uh, um, object a 10 and 20 are assigned to the uh, value to the um, constructor parameter constructor and same abc c2 in bracket c1 the value are c1 and c2 are same that is 10 and 20 the output is is uh, in the two form that is 10 and 20 again printer 10 and 20 next slide some important points about constructor automatically called when an object is created we can define our own constructor a constructor take the same name as the class name we cannot define constructor in a private section is very important point we cannot define a constructor in a private sector a private section uh, no return type is specified for the constructor constructor must must be defined in a public section overloading of a constructor is possible if an object is copied from another object then the copy constructor is called next slide destructor destructor is a special member function realize dynamic memory allocation destructor is automatically called when an object is destroyed take the same name as the class name the syntax of destructor is the till till symbol and class name that is the uh, that is the uh, syntax of the destructor an important point about destructor take the same name as the class name uh, defined in a public section destructor cannot be over, overloaded no return type is specified the example is creature is a class uh, year of work is a variable creature is a constructor uh, in this constructor year of birth 1970 constructor part uh, we can define and this one is a destructor this one is a destructor uh, in, in this uh, destructor we can define destructor called in main method creature is a class and object when an object is created constructor is called and after that uh, after that uh, destructor is called and uh, when an object is created is destroyed um, from the uh, from the program thank you